Fortnite's latest update just gave us a terrifying first look at Four Nightmares 2023 and finally dropped the latest collab, Ahsoka. Her set includes the Mirai back bling, shuttle emote, and no, we are not getting a lightsaber pickaxe this time. Never gonna happen. Instead, we have got Ahsoka staff. It kind of looks like a toothpick, but it is from the show, so I'm not going to be a hater like I was with Darth Vader's or Anakin's. All of these are just a handful of her rewards, which are free for all Battle Pass owners. So to celebrate Ahsoka's release, we've also got the return of everyone's favorite mythic, lightsabers. Of course, this includes a brand new white version for Ahsoka. It has some basic force abilities, but it's still worth picking up. It's joined by the return of Star Wars portals, including Ahsoka herself, who has replaced Obi-Wan. Hers is a scene from the show, and once you go in, you'll come out with her white lightsaber. Rumor has it Darth Vader is going to return as a boss in the future, so if you're a Rebels fan, you could probably recreate their iconic fight. To help you in that battle, new augments have been released including Marksman Headshots. The name is a pretty obvious hint as to what this does, so everyone who loves using the Marksman Rifles can take advantage of this. Soon Fortnite will enable Ninja Training, which gives you increased movement speed while crouching. It actually sounds useful, especially when you combo it with another unvaulted perk, Shrub Mud, and these two perks will drop next week. A strub by the return of more parkour and soaring sprints which should help with traversal, especially in the jungle. Throw this with the rocket ram and you go flying. With a new update also comes sacrifices, Deku Smash has been thrown into the vault. If you enjoy breaking through the ice walls, it just became 10 times harder, but at least we still have the rocket rams though. And that's not the only thing to be removed. Fortnite's sixth birthday event is ending. It was only in the game for one week, so hopefully you enjoyed it while it lasted. I will miss saying happy birthday to the bus driver though. Instead, you can talk to one of the new NPCs around the island. Some of them are even unreleased outfits. Shimmer Dusk is at the Mega City Volcano, except when you go here, she appears as a default skin? Yeah, Fortnite forgot to decrypt her, so it's bugged, but she sells a big shield and a sniper rifle. And if you were wondering, her outfit should look like this. Just north of Shattered Slabs, you'll find Autumn Queen, which is pretty fitting considering we are at the end of summer. She'll give you a bush bomb and apples, but my personal favorite new NPC is Phaedra. She's near the apparatus and sells an infiltrator pump shotgun, so it's already worth it, but she also has a key. All of this is nothing compared to what's around the corner. Today's update is just preparing us for Four Nightmares 2023, and it's given us some insane new information. We're getting zombie chickens, which aren't exactly happy about being dead, alongside a mythic broomstick with a completely refreshed design. And honestly, this looks incredible. So does the next battle bus. They're gonna spray paint the jet black to fit the Halloween theme, so I just hope we get pumpkins or candles like last time. The main focus of the event will be Horde Rush, which is getting a complete overhaul this year. Upgrade benches won't use gold bars, it will spawn in the middle of each storm circle. They use monster parts instead, which sounds pretty interesting. I hope we get something like this in BR. We've also got our first look at one of the new Fortnite Mares outfits. Say hi to Pinchera, who is powered by the island's rarest venom. She looks great. It'll be joined by Shimmer Dusk. He's a vampire with a ton of edit styles. Except this outfit won't be in the item shop. In fact, you need to subscribe to the Fortnite crew by November 1st to earn her because she is the next legacy set. Her back bling also has a bunch of variants, and if you want these to progress, you got to stay subscribed to the crew. For each month, you'll earn a new style. Now, I wasn't expecting Fortnite to add this to the game, but in the new update, we have found out that Epic is working on a new version of the Rocket Ram. This time, it's catering to the competitive players. Yeah, they're making a limited Rocket Ram that will only be available in Arena, so I wonder how useless it's gonna be. Luckily, while we're waiting for that, we have a confirmed date for the mysterious Triarch Aurora. A couple weeks ago, Secret Dialogue was added, which talked about this character and how people were afraid of her. It spawned a ton of theories, especially because she's the second part of Triarch Nox's storyline. Well, now Aurora's here and is coming on October 2nd with a level up quest pack. This is her outfit and people are loving it. You might even recognize her edit style from the surveys. She's the 89th most anticipated concept and it's gotta be one of the craziest differences ever between an original outfit and the variant. They're like two completely different skins. For every quest, you'll unlock an entire level and week one her back bling unlocks followed by a wrap, pickaxe, and finally the protector armor style. For good news, we are also getting a brand new weapon next week. If you paid attention to the season trailer, you'll recognize this unreleased item. It's the Toggle Zoom DMR and has finally been added to the files, so we are expecting it to drop on October 3rd. Honestly, I'm excited to use this one. 
Now you gotta hear about how Fortnite has made the weirdest decision of all time. Rank Solo Zero Build is coming back, which is amazing, but there's a catch. For some reason, this mode is only available at certain times every day. Grand East Europe and the Middle East, you can play it anytime you want. But in NA West, Oceania, Brazil, and Asia, there are specific times that it's available. So if you're at school or have plans, good luck with that. But if you're low on V-Bucks, now is the perfect time to grab the brand new mainframe throwback quest pack. It includes the retro Zoe Clash outfit, along with the Sergeant Lape and Back Bling and more items. As you complete daily quests, you'll rack up to a thousand V-Bucks, so be sure to purchase it as soon as it hits the shop any day now. And while you're there, you might notice a complete redesign to the entire menu. Soon the item shop will be getting a revamp to look like this. They've got a brand new box design and the tabs are finally sorted. You'll be able to click each section to quickly jump to them and even preview the cosmetics on the right side of the screen before clicking them. And it's not the only upcoming feature because we now know more about the racing mode than ever before. There's gonna be time trials to race around each map the fastest and beat your friends on the leaderboard. And there is so many to choose from. But things like Sidewinder, Cruise, and Drift Mania, there's 14 maps total, so you'll never get bored of the same one. Especially with a randomized option, which will send you to any of them. But if you prefer running around than driving a car, then look no further than the next Transformers collab. We all heard about this a few months ago, but now the skins are finally added for when they roll out soon. The skins look great in game, and we could even get a first look at the built-in emotes, which look amazing. You'll be able to pick up the whole pack in retail stores from October 13th, or wait a little longer till it drops on the item shop digitally on the 21st. We also got some brand new art in today's update, with this mysterious loading screen being added for Kari. Some think it'll be free to claim for International Women's Day, or you might have to buy it as a part of a bundle. But perhaps the most interesting part is that she's holding the shockwave bow, so a lot of people are hoping there's a chance for it to return. There's also Ahsoka's own loading screen with her coming out of a portal just just like in the game. It is Brandon Kenny's third loading screen in the game, and you might notice the art style from other Star Wars posters, even drawing the previous Star Wars loading screen for Anakin. Now it looks like Epic slipped up because they accidentally just revealed the next customizable skin early. It's meant to be encrypted right now, but they left the shop images in the files, meaning we could get a look at Verity, our next wrap skin. As usual, you could choose from any wraps you own to apply on her cosmetics, especially her cape, which looks incredible. Some Eagle Eye players have even noticed she's actually from the first survey concepts ever sent out, so she has been a long time in the making. Now you could already tell we're getting close to chapter 5 because leaked designs have just dropped revealing the next menu and lobby. Even better, this isn't for a new chapter like you'd expect. Rumor has it this is dropping as early as next week. It looks super different and it's gonna take some time getting used to. It's especially true when you load up your favorite creative map and suddenly the lobby background changes. Yeah, they're adding the ability to make custom lobbies and we've already got leaked footage of the photo mode which looks super fun to use. Now make sure to invite your friends to play the new update as for a friend 3.0 is officially live. Once you've done the challenges, you'll earn a ton of rewards until you reach the final stage, Red Cap. This is the new version of Mad Cap that is completely free, but the challenge is actually kinda hard. You and your friend both have to earn 50 account levels each, so you might wanna start the grind now before it's too late. But that was everything you missed in the Ahsoka update. I can't wait for Fortnite Mares next month. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.